Okay, next is a uh, matrix structure. So when we talk about matrix structure, we talk about uh, the the combinations of two forms of departmentalizations. So uh, the the employees in role in departmental uh, in in matrix structure, employees come from two departments. Uh, so the 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 structure is like a cross uh, functional. So functional employee may come from uh, departments of regarding functional departments and employee also work uh, under products department so employee belong to two departments that's why it said metric structure so the the the, the structure look like this one is belong to department so functional here uh, sorry this one is belong to functional and this one is belong to the product for example uh, if it talks about university or uh, if we talk about projects the employees may come from their own functional departments and then they've been uh, they've been borrowed for a while to do the project so they have two departments first one is functional first one second one is the products or whatever project that they have so employees here are responsible for this functional and also for this uh, department so the strengths of uh, of metric structure uh, first because uh, employees of uh, metric structures uh, has functional departments so normally functional departments consist of specialists so uh, for metrics the specialists come together under this structure and product departmentalization for example facilitate coordinations so not only under structure so under metric structure not only employees are specialists they also are, are highly coordinated so products provide clear responsibility for all activities related to the product so metric structure consists of functional and products so that's mean under functional they have all specialists uh, and then under products there are uh, uh, they are all highly coordinated so that's uh, the, the strength of the uh, metric structures next is visual organizations when we talk about visual we talk about network style of organizations that's mean uh, it's like an online kind of organizations so virtual organization is the essence of virtual organization is it is typically small because nowadays many people are doing online many, many people are form uh, businesses just to uh, do or dealing business over uh, internet so over online so they do not have they do not need to have many employees so they do not have to have many layer of the employees or management so they typically small so the core organizations they normally outsource uh, to major business functions so they just focusing on the small part and then the 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 the, the main core they outsource to those who are uh, specialists in the area so visual is related to uh, businesses that are normally focused the core business are, are normally online or e-commerce so uh, virtual organization also referred to referred to as a modular or network organization that's what i mentioned so virtual is in other words is a network organizations normally involve online business or e-commerce and so on so it is highly centralized with little or no departmentalization they do not have to have many layers of departments or management because this uh, outsource many of their major core business businesses the team structures uh, they also are team structures uh, nowadays many organizations are moving toward teamwork or team structures so team structure actually eliminate the chain of command uh, normally team structure do not have the leaders so they do not need to have a managers to supervise them to, to give authority to them they themselves manage their own teams so they do not have leaders so they do not need chain of commands so change uh, team leaders or uh, team structures replace departments with empowered uh, teams so they give empowerment to teams uh, they give more responsibility to to the team members to this to 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 perform to make sure they they achieve the performance no more supervisor no more leaders to enforce or to supervise uh, them closely in order to achieve the goal instead uh, members themselves are more uh, responsible for their own performance so team structures uh, remove vertical and horizontal boundaries uh, also break down external barriers uh, so because they are in the teams uh, they could uh, 
remove all the vertical and horizontal boundaries that uh, uh, that many organizations have and they also have flattened more uh, flattened the hierarchy and minimize status and rank because in the in the teams uh, normally they do not have high rank in terms of positions everyone all members normally come from the same level so this minimize then status and rank the organization are also uh, flattened that's been uh, becoming more flat they don't have hierarchy uh, anymore so that's a good thing about the steam structure when fully operationalized, the team structure may break down geographical barrier. So, uh, because the organizations are based on the teams, there's no high rank or lower rank. So, uh, they will, uh, if uh, fully operationalized, actually could uh, eliminate many of barriers, including geographic. Circular structure is referring to uh, the structure where in the center are the executive and uh, are ro rotating around this executive is uh, grouped by the functions. Uh, functions uh, are the managers, the specialists and the workers. So the, main, the executive at the center and rotating, I mean uh, evolving around them, uh, circling around them, uh, are managers, specialists and workers. So uh, basically that's why it says circular, circular mean at the center is uh, executive and then on the circular around the executive consists of managers, specialists and workers. So the, the circular structure has intuitive appeal especially for creative entrepreneur and however employees may be unclear about to whom they should report and who is the run the show because as you can see in the middle at the center is the executive and then around the executive there has managers there are specialists there and workers so workers are quite confused to whom they should report to to the manager uh, to the executive at the center or to the managers or to the specialists because they all have different kind of of rank so it's kind of unclear to the normal employees or normal workers we also are uh, still uh, likely to see the popularity of circular structure spread so this is quite popular also uh, uh, but uh, it has a pro and cons uh, as well Leaner organizations nowadays, uh, many organizations are moving toward leaner organization. When we talk about leaner organization, we talk about more simple, uh, easy to be managed. So many organizations are uh, downsized, are uh, downsized. That means uh, uh, reducing in size, uh, either because of they cannot make a uh, good profits or they just want to focus on certain core business for example so leaner organizations uh, which is downsizing the goal of the new organizations of organizational forms uh, we have described so far is important to improve agility so what is meant here organization become leaner that's mean organization decrease in uh, decrease in size because they want to improve their agility their strength by creating a lean focus and flexible organizations so downsizing is a systematic, uh, systematic effort to make an organization leaner. So when we talk about the leaner organization, in other words, we talk about downsizing. So the organization become leaner by downsize, downsize or reducing in size. So how they deal, reduce in size? They selling off many of the business units. So before this, they may have uh, many uh, many branches or many layer of organizations. So to become leaner, they have to downsize reduce in size so they're selling off many of their business units they also close uh, close many of the branches or locations and they also reduce many of their staff downsizing however uh, can be also due to like I mentioned loss of the market share that means loss in the profits uh, change in the customer demands uh, so the, the, the market share also change and they, they just want to focus on the core competency not because of the problem with the profit they just want to downsize because they want to focus on their main business and also they want to become leaner they downsize 
because uh, they focusing more on the lean management technique on the technique to reduce bureaucracy i mentioned earlier bureaucracy have many um, weaknesses so many organization downsize uh, because not only because of the problem with the market share not only because they want to uh, focus on the core competency but they also want to reduce bureaucracy uh, and also to speed up decision making so many organization uh, downsize or become leaner because of to reduce uh, bureaucracy and speed up the decision making uh, strategies for downsize including investments communications participations and assistance so leaner communications by becoming leaner communications organization can become more agile more uh, active more um, uh, more consider is more energetic more uh, kind of um, uh, life and efficient and productive but only if they make uh, uh, if they make cuts carefully and have employees through the process so leaner organizations mean that they have to reduce their numbers of the employees so in order to reduce the numbers of the employees they have to make sure that the employees that they are gonna lay off actually uh, they need to have the employees to go through the process of laying off. They have to they have to plan in proper properly in advance, not just to lay off the employees uh, because they want to downsize because the effect will be uh, uh, negative. So they have to make sure that when they want to cut down the numbers of the employees, they have to be carefully planned and also have employees to go through the process. So, uh, how they downsize uh, through investments, uh, uh, the strategy to downsize, uh, these are among the strategies how they downsize investments, uh, where they focus more on the core competency. Communications, they also need to communicate to their employees if they want to uh, downsize, uh, they have to communicate to, uh, early to the employees so the employees will not be, uh, will have less worried about the outcome and or they also need to prepare for the employees uh, and then uh, let employee go through the process uh, in the normal way, maybe providing um, uh, orientations, training for the future job, for example. Participations, the uh, employees may less worry if they participate in the process uh, of downsizing. Uh, for example, maybe uh, giving voluntary early retirement programs or uh, high severance package. Severance package is uh, when the employees are uh, being laid off, they've been given like a um, uh, huge uh, compensations uh, the, the salary the compensation they receive in terms of uh, money in terms of cash and so on so this actually could have employees to pass to go through the process of downsizing in the in the uh, efficient way or in the proper way assistance is very important also for the organization uh, that want to downsize to provide severance, that means to provide some uh, compensation package to the employees that they want to lay off. And also uh, providing is, uh, assistance in terms of providing healthcare benefit to the employees or to the employees that they want to, re, uh, to, to lay off. And also provide the employees uh, who want to the, they, they want to lay off uh, some job search assistance so that employees when they got laid off they could find out uh, they could find a new job easily or uh, faster uh, compared to those who are not given some assistance. So this demonstrate that the company really can for them and they, if the company uh, become better so they may want to join back the company if the company didn't provide this help to the employees that they are going to lay off this actually give a wrong or negative uh, impressions to the employees that they want to lay off that their organization didn't really care about them didn't uh, honor their contributions so if the, um, the organization want to hire them back maybe the employees who been laid off they don't want to go back uh, instead they want to uh, maybe look for another jobs in other company instead of going back uh, to the company who the uh, which, uh, which didn't really care about their contributions 
So this actually uh, going next to the differences between mechanistics and organization structure. So in overall, we talked about the, the six key elements of, uh, of organization structure. So combine all together, we come up to the two model, mechanistic versus organistic uh, model. So here, as you can see, mechanistic consists of high specialization, rigid departmentalization, clear chains of command, narrow standard control, centralization, highly formalization. So mechanistic is very rigid, organistic is normally uh, flexible, uh, involve for example cross-functional team, cross hierarchical team, free flow of information, uh, widespread of control, decentralized of decision making and low formalization.